Welcome Pisces and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 2nd of January through to Sunday the 8th of January 2023. <coughs> on the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message cards. So let's jump straight in and have a look and see what your overarching crowning messages are for the week ahead. <clears throat> My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning messages to the question, how does the soulmates of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week, thank you. Friendship. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning messages to the question, how does... The soulmates of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love. Week commencing Monday the 2nd of January through to Sunday the 8th of January 2023. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Pisces that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below, and all around me. Thank you. My angels and the spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning messages to the question? How does these? Oh, thank you. Oh, a few cards here. Oh, grieving, forgiveness, strength, and boundaries. Oh, what's going on, Pisces? Um, okay. Well, there's definitely a transformation going on here. Either you are grieving the loss of somebody or a loss of a love connection. Um, either uh, somebody that has passed away or somebody that has uh, separated from you um, or there's a bit of a disconnect. Uh, I feel that with the friendship card, Divine Spirit Universe is going to bring in some... Uh, either messages or friends to uplift you, okay? Many of you, you do receive messages, signs and synchronicities quite easily. And I feel that you're being guided to, that you will know, you will know when these people come in or when signs and synchronicities come in, that they're messages from Divine Spirit Universe to, to guide you, to uplift you, to strengthen you. Now, there's either something you either need to forgive yourself about or um, this person is seeking your forgiveness. I feel that you're being guided that you've got the strength and the courage to put boundaries around any kind of low vibrational energy or put some boundaries around grieving or loss. Do you think you've lost somebody? Mm, not sure. The the uh, strength card does remind me of Leo. So you could have Leo in your chart or you could have Leo in, um, sorry, in their chart. Um, or could you be grieving a friend? Is there a friend that has passed? Maybe you felt that you didn't reach out to them. Um, when they were alive. But I feel that you're being guided that you've got the strength to put around boundaries. I feel around your thinking. That's possibly what is going to be transformed. Many of you, it feels as if you're um, very um, up in your head, wishing, dreaming, I could have done this better. I wished I'd reached out to this person might be to do with a friend if not it's to do with a love connection if it is a love connection i feel that this person is a little bit confused why either you're grieving or maybe they're confused about is it a love connection is it a friendship either this person has been a bit guarded and now they want to Fight for the connection because they're grieving that they might lose you because they've been a bit put you in a friendship zone. 
Mm. Let's have a look and see what your crown of wisdom messages are. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crown of wisdom messages to the question, how does the soulmates of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? <clears throat> Week commencing Monday the 2nd of January through to Sunday the 8th of January 2023. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally? mentally and physically to what thank you well whoever it is if this is a love connection the two of you will go the distance so it feels as if either this person friend zoned you or you friend zoned them and i feel that uh either you're upset with yourself about that or they're upset and that's where the forgiveness is coming in i feel that you're being guided to put that you've got the strength and the courage to put boundaries around that um, because you and this person will go the distance. If this is a friend that has passed, that you felt that you could have done more, or you may be wanting their forgiveness, I feel that you're being guided that look out for signs and synchronicities because it feels as if they are giving you that forgiveness. That is going to transform your grieving and you will go on. You will uh, go on. You'll get through this. Yeah, be poised. Get ready. Get ready for a change. Get a, ready for a change in the way that you're thinking about a situation, whether it's a past uh, loved one or um, with regards to a connection. There's, there's, yeah, get ready for the unexpected. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning wisdom messages to the question? How does the soul... Thank you. Deep knowing, yeah. This is what I was picking up in terms of like you receive signs, synchronicities um, quite easily, yeah. I feel that Divine Spirit Universe is going to either speak to you directly through your intuition to give you some sort of wisdom. It's like a deep knowing, following your intuition. So if this is a, a, a love connection um, that you either feel that you, you either friend zone them or they friend zoned you. It feels as if this person is a bit confused what's going on here, or you might be a bit confused. Uh, I feel whoever friend zones the other is wanting forgiveness. That is going to create some sort of transformation. It might have been quite grieving not knowing where you stood with this person or vice versa. You're being guided to um, uh, that you've got the strength and the courage to put boundaries around what has gone on in the past it's kind of like it's in the past you and this person and um, will go the distance get ready get ready for the signs and synchronicities to use your wisdom to move forward yeah it's like take a leap of faith if this is with regards to somebody that has passed away that was a friend i feel that um Many of you are going to know that they have forgiven you if you felt that you like you could have done more or something or you wish that you had been there or. Um, yeah, that you yeah, you'd done more or you'd reached out more or something. It's it's like your intuition. They're going to speak to you through your intuition or other friends may come in and say something that is going to transform your thinking. But that poise card, you're getting, you're being guided. Get ready, get ready to take a leap of faith, um, because you will go the distance. You will continue. You'll you'll jump leaps and bounds in life, um, or with a love connection, you and this person will um, go the distance. You will endure. You'll get through whatever it is that's going on here okay uh pisces a bit of an unusual message if this is resonating for you already please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video subscribe if you haven't done so already it really does help to push this video out to other pisces it also enables you to get those notifications of when i'm uploading new messages and it also helps to uh support the channel so i thank you in advance for your support and encouragement existing subscribers welcome back thank you for all of your support encouragement and donations it's really appreciated and I really do hope that you all get something useful and meaningful out of this week's reading. Let's get into your main love message. 
my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me how does these soulmates of pisces sun moon rising and venus feel towards them in love week commencing monday the 2nd of january through to sunday the 8th of january 2023 what is their current energy spiritually emotionally mentally and physically towards pisces that i'm allowed to see for the highest good and for the greater good of all <clears throat> As above, so below, and all around me. Thank you. I have got a bit of a cold, or I'm getting over a cold, Pisces. So, uh, excuse me if I'm coughing or clearing my throat. It's, it's just that end of that cold that's just not shifting. All right, my angels and spirit guide. Thank you. Wow. Well, whoever you're connected with. This is a fated connection with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, with a love connection, they definitely want to put the work in. So it feels as if they're asking you for forgiveness. Maybe this person put you in that friendship zone. Or they have had friends that have guided them. I suppose said something to them. A deep knowing some wisdom with regards to you so if this person was a little bit guarded or defensive it feels as if either they've received signs synchronicities that they need to fight for this connection um because many of you might have started to put boundaries around them oh okay I feel that you're being guided, that you've got the strength possibly to take down those boundaries. Because I feel that this person was confused, but it is a fated connection. And I feel that they do want to uh, put the work in. Yeah, it's a fake. They've, 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 they've re something's been revealed to this person. I feel that they're asking you for forgiveness. Um, and it feels as if they are grieving, grieving the fact that either you have pulled back your energy or that they might have lost you. Yeah, look at that. Oh, my God. A breakup. It's my breakup card. It's breakup or they felt disconnected from you. So, right, you, yeah, you might have put boundaries around them. This was a breakup. I didn't see that coming. It feels as if both of you are grieving each other. Yeah. Um, but there's a transformation. The two of you are going to get through this. There, it's a reconciliation here. Um, get, get poised. Get ready to take a leap of faith. To take down those boundaries and put boundaries around any kind of negative thinking. <gasps> wow, look at that. Look at that. A new beginning. Look at that. Te look, I can't even make it up. The full card. Take a leap of faith. Unconditional love. The connection was unbalanced, but it's going to be balanced out with the sun card. Wow. OMG. Wow. So, okay, so let's just go through. So with the, so this, this person is now either seeing, uh, either they were given a lot to their work and not enough time and energy into this connection. Um, it feels as if the two of you it, were very disconnected from that, or it feels as if there was a breakup, okay, because this person was putting a lot of time and energy into their work. It was unbalanced in some shape, form or another. I feel that uh, both of you were grieving this. Both of you um, may have started out being friends. Um, there might have been a disconnect because one or both of you uh, friend zoned each other. Um, I feel that you're both being guided actually to forgive each other because that five of coins is right in the middle of the reading. So it's like, I wouldn't say it was a mutual separation. It might be. But it feels as if you both felt very disconnected when both of you just wanted to give to the connection. It feels as if this person was focusing on money, yeah, work. 
Many of you with the Ace of Cups, those of you that know me, this is unconditional love between two souls. And there is happiness, victory, un uh, um, abundance. The two of you will go the distance. And many of you already know that you're being guided to take a leap of faith for a new beginning um, because the connection is being transformed into almost like a new love. That's that poise card. Uh, Leo is popping out here. Uh, the scales always do remind me of uh, Libra. So you could have Libra in your chart or their chart. It feels as if this person was really, really confused. Um, possibly had a lot of regret um, for not giving to this connection or friend zoning you. Very, very grieved by it. You may have been very grieved by it. It's almost as if you thought you'd like proper lost this person. I feel both, I feel that they want to come and ask for your forgiveness. Yeah, look, they want to talk. Serious conversation after looking at the detail of this connection. So either they are coming in to ask for your forgiveness for spending so much time focusing on money, work. It sounds as if you started to put boundaries around this person. I feel that you're being guided that you've got the strength and the courage to put boundaries around negative thinking, around grieving, around the past, and to kind of let, yeah, let this person in. They, they were heartbroken. Wow. So it looks as if this person has either really reflected on this connection with you and realized by looking at the detail that a lot of time and energy went into this connection, but they didn't give to it as as much as you did. And many of you started putting boundaries around friend zoning them. Wow. And so now they want to put the work in. Thank you. Yep, they wanna they wanna get to know you. They wanna get to know you. They wanna celebrate the connection. They definitely wanna put the work in. Wow. This person might be younger than you, or um, not as mature in relationships, one or the other. But they're coming in with a serious conversation. And it feels as if it's going to turn in their favour, evidently, because you're going to take a leap of faith. It's like the connection has been transformed into a new love. It's like you're starting, it's like you're starting again. Yeah, I feel with the five of swords, this person isn't the greatest of communicators. Yeah, it's a bit of a battlefield. So this person might have just like, like almost, it may have come across that they were breadcrumbing you when actually what they were doing is working. Yeah, look at that, the Queen of Swords, you cut them out. <laughs> you cut them out. So you're the one that broke up with them or you pulled back your energy. You definitely put boundaries around them. That's what they're grieved about. Let's continue. Many of you, I feel that you're being guided um, to speak your truth, yeah, with peace. Um, you've got the strength to do that because the two of you will go the distance. Wow, this person is your wish fulfillment. And you are ready for long-term commitment marriage. You took that cup, that, that offer away from them. You cut them out and you walked away with your offer. So you must have said to this person that you are ready for something serious. Like, you know, you don't want to be just friends or something. Um, oh, they heard that loud and clear, I feel. Uh, the two of you have definitely lived many lives together. They are your wish fulfillment. Um, and I feel that you're getting a, a second shot with this person. We've also got Aquarius popping out here as well. Yeah, many of you, yeah, look at that. You were um, in this mental torture and I feel that um, many of you thinking, wishing, hoping um, that this person will come in with a cup of love. Now, either you'd offered that love or you'd made it very clear that you want a, a solid, firm commitment and it wasn't reciprocated and you were very confused about that, overthinking it, didn't understand it. 
And so it feels as if they're now going to come in with that cup of love, which is triggering a new beginning. That's what I mean. Get ready for the unexpected. Get ready for the unexpected. Let's clarify these two bonus cards. My angels and spirit, thank you. Nine of pentacles. I feel that this is your energy. Uh, I feel that they see that you are fated to be in their life and they didn't give to the connection as much as you did. For many of you, you may be quite um, established in work, in finances, and it feels as if with the amount of money on this person's side, they were trying to level up to you, not realising that they were actually pushing you away. The Knight of Pentacles, yeah. They were trying to level up to you because um, you look, you're coming out as a queen, the nine of pentacles, and they're coming out as a knight. So this person may have turned their back to you, pulled back their energy because they were focusing on their money to level up with you. And so therefore, many of you, you just cut this person out because you just thought they weren't interested. They are looking at the detail of that and they are now realizing that. Many of you might have friend zoned them. Yeah, but they are solid. They are solid. Bit slow to come forward. Like I say, not the greatest of communicators with their emotions. They kind of go off and do their own thing um, in their own mind without really communicating. Um, but it feels as if this person was trying to level up to you financially. Yeah, many of you, you had many sleepless nights over this whole situation. There's recovery because Lady Justice is here. Um, either there is some sort of soul contract between the two of you or you would want you want is reconciliation. You wanted this person. Yeah, secretly, secretly, I, I feel that you kind of broke up with them because that five or you secretly you felt that they were breaking up with you. Which is why almost like you cut them out or friend zone them. So it was almost like it wasn't a full blown breakup. It feels as if both of you kind of pulled your energy back. They pulled their energy back because I feel that they're trying to level up to you financially. Um, and you pulled your energy back um, because you felt that they weren't interested. You started to put up boundaries, friend zoning them. I feel that you're being guided that you've got the strength and the courage to take down those boundaries and trust that deep knowing. Trust your uh, intuition on this because it feels as if you know um, that there is, I mean, there's victory here. This person is your wish fulfillment. Um, you've lived many, many lives and I feel that you're being guided to trust your deep knowing that it wasn't that they were separating from you or breaking up with you. Uh, they were actually trying to level up to you. And so the two of you will go on and go the distance. So it feels as if there's healing going on here. But yeah, take that leap of faith. Get ready. Get ready for the unexpected. All right, let's see what your advice is. Yeah, I feel that there's a soul contract here with that Lady Justice. Let the leaves go. Yeah, look, I can let go of what I no longer need. And what you don't need anymore is boundaries, I feel. And to let go of the past. I feel that you're being guided to forgive them. You know when somebody just gets so caught up in trying to be the best version of themselves that they, they stop... They stop being in the present. This is like kind of what this person done. And then uh, fly free. Look at that. I receive messages from nature easily. I knew it. You guys can. You guys are very, very intuitive. Trust that deeper, that deep, deep knowing. Uh, it feels as if many of you are going to get some sort of clarity, signs, synchronicities from divine spirit universe that you and this person are getting a bit of a... Like this person has realised that they kind of neglected being in the present and focusing on money and work to level up with you kind of pushed you away. All right. Thank you. 
And then we've got uh, candle magic. Every day things get better. Yeah. I feel that you're being guided. Expect the unexpected. There's unconditional love here um, between the two of you. Uh, there is happiness, abundance, prosperity. Take that leap of faith because every day is going to get a little bit better. Um, it's a major transformation in this connection. It's almost as if Divine Spirit Universe disconnected the two of you in order to transform this person's um, thinking um, to be in the present. Yeah, it's all great trying to level up and be the best person that you can be, but you've got to be in the present and actually put into the connection. And that is what this person has realized after looking at the detail. OK, so every day is going to get a little bit better. You will endure you and this person. All right. I'm going to leave that there for you, Pisces. If it resonates, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye bye.